In this video, I'm going to show you comping double and triple vocals in Reaper. So our project set up here, and I want to record some vocals. I've already set up a vocal track. We'll put in record, make sure the input is set when my vocal mic is plugged in, and we're ready to record our first vocal. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Now I want to record some more passes, but instead of using takes, I want to record into lanes. So right click the track, go down here and turn on fixed item lanes. And if we record on top of this audio, it's going to create lanes for each pass, like this. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Now I want to record a bunch more, and it's going to work the same way, creating a new lane on each pass, which you could solo to hear back. But rather than doing this in real time, I'm going to fast forward through three more passes. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. So now we have five passes. Let's take the track out of record. And again, we could hear each pass by soloing the lane to hear it back. And we can comp each phrase separately by creating another lane to comp into using swipe comping. So I can right click, go to comping, and choose to comp into new empty lane, or choose to automatically create comp areas. And what that does is it creates a new lane to comp into, but it automatically creates comp areas based on the size of the items we recorded. So we already have a comp area right here. We can create more just by drawing like this. Let's create two for here. Now we can choose on a phrase by phrase basis which lines are keepers. And we can hear them in context. We can use the T key to switch lanes and hear them phrase by phrase, seeing the result up here in the comp lane. Hey. Let's say we liked the first one. We can just click here or we'll hit the T key to go around back to lane one and hear this in context as we choose phrase two. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. Let's say we like this piece, but we don't like this piece. Let's try another, hit T. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. Let's say we like these three, and to move forward, let's say we chose this one and this one to create our perfect comp. And we're happy with this, and we're done. We could right click up here, disable lanes, which is going to hide the non playing lanes, which takes us out of comp mode. Now, if I hit the T key, it doesn't switch to different lanes, so it's locked in. And here is our keeper. Lead vocal performance. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Now let's say we want to double and triple the vocal to make it sound thicker. Instead of making our singer sing it again, we could just comp from the outtakes or the pieces we didn't choose for the lead vocal. So I can duplicate this track, right click, duplicate tracks. Now we have two of the same thing, but if we play it now, it's just gonna be louder as both these tracks are exactly the same. Hey. And we don't want that. We wanna choose the alternate performances for doubles and triples. So we can right click over here, go to enable lanes, and just recomp with different choices. 
But instead of looking to make sure we don't choose the keep of phrases again, we could delete the ones we chose with an action. Let's double click to turn comping back on. Make sure we select this track. Go to actions, show action list, and we'll type into the filter lanes delete. There's an action right here that's going to delete source media within comp areas and recomp. Double click this, and it switched all the takes we chose, and it deleted all the lanes we chose. So we can't accidentally choose them again. So now we're going to hear different pieces. Hey. You couldn't see it coming. And we can use these as doubles. And because there's spaces in the pieces we already selected, we can't accidentally select the same ones. As again, if we choose the same ones, it's not really doubling the vocal. So we can go through it phrase by phrase, finding the best pieces to use as a double. And notice if we hit the T key, it jumps over the empty lanes. So instead of having five choices, we have four, as this lane was already chosen on the lead. Let's say we like this one. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. Maybe this one, this one, this one, and this one. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. Let's pan it to the left, rename it double vocal. Let's duplicate this one so we could also comp a triple. Let's disable the lanes on this track. As we're done comping it, let's duplicate it. Now we have three. Rename this one right, pan it to the right. And we could do the same thing we did to make the double, to make the triple. We'll enable the lanes. And just like with the double, we don't want to comp with these other chosen pieces available, either from the lead or the double. We want to only choose from the unchosen pieces. So again, we use that same action. Turn on comping again by double clicking this button. Go to the action. Delete source media within comp areas and recomp. And now it shows different choices again. And this time, because we did it twice, it removed two lanes. So now we have, instead of five or four lanes to choose from, we have three. We can still use the T key to comp between them. There's only three choices to choose from. But again, those three choices are never going to be the choices in the lead or the double. So we can't accidentally choose an already chosen piece. So we can comp in context and choosing the best triple on each phrase. Hey. Let's say we like that one. Move on to the next. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. Let's say we chose these two, this one, this one, and this one. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. So now, just like before, we can right click over here, disable lanes, which will hide the non playing lanes, which turns off comping, so we can't accidentally choose the wrong lane. If we hit the T key, it doesn't change the lanes we chose. So now we can see we chose different lanes for each phrase on each track. Now we can adjust the volume of our double and triple to be a bit lower. You couldn't see it coming You might have thought it But you couldn't change it That sounds pretty good to me. So that's pretty much it. That's comping double and triple vocals in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.
Oh!